we left off in the woods, walking out of the woods. It started to rain after we got to the truck, or right before we got to the truck. We loaded up, got out there quick, and now we're at the second spot, I guess you would say. Yes. The second spot, we're, we're gonna probably go tomorrow. Just checking it out, scouting it out, seeing what's up. But it's basically in the middle of nowhere, farmland. And uh, yeah, we're listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Buddy, where are we? We're at Turkey Ridge State Forest. So hopefully there will be some turkeys here. I hope we're not gonna be uh, pushing them away though, with all this sound. We'll see, but there's two other forests that surround us right now. Rock Creek State Forest and um, Green something, Greenwood maybe, I forgot the name of it, but uh, we'll be able to bounce back and forth between them. We have to. <sighs> Sitting in the truck again, raining. I think it's gonna go fast. Whenever you have uh, rainstorms like this upstate, and where it's like dark over here and light over there and really, really hard raining, it normally goes fast. Hey there, bud. Here we're at, we set up our nature's hangout uh, beach blanket as like a tarp canopy. That way if it starts raining again, we won't get soaking wet while we cook. Jared's over here cooking up some rice and pasta sides. Or actually boiling water. But, uh, boiling water for the rice and pasta yes. sides. But it's a pretty cool trip. Jared is like the godfather of the trip. The guy who knows everything. Anyway guys, if you don't know who Jared is, he is Intense Outdoors on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Yes. I'll link all those to uh, his channels in the description below, so go follow him. So guys, check this out. All right, so there's a ton of frogs and newts everywhere we go. But what's really neat is this. These are newt or salamander eggs or some sort. To where you can actually see the little embryo guys inside of here jiggling around. Here's one right there. There's a small little egg, smaller than the other ones, but but he's in there. See. Right on in there, swimming around. So that's pretty neat. There's a bunch of little ones, a bunch of them over here. Let's see, right here. They're boiling. It's pretty cool. All right, so the water from mine is boiling, and we just dump the rice in. And all its goodness. Oh, it smells so good. We let that simmer. How did he get here? say tomorrow or the next day so 
I mean, it's pretty neat. The wind is still blowing like crazy though. Still dressed in camel. Haven't seen a turkey, haven't heard a turkey. Tons of chipmunks though. This place is a little weird. So, we're back from scouting. We didn't hear anything, we didn't see anything. So, from my knowledge, I think we're gonna go fishing and then scout another place at like twilight to see if there's anything there and see if we can roost some turkeys. So, we, we're gonna fish a river that's down this way, but we can't find a place to get into it. And uh, we found this little park. Jared's exhausted, he's gotta take a nap. He's gonna take a nap in the nature's hangout hammock. That's what we're doing here, right on the side of the road, some little park in the middle of nowhere. What is this place, Ca Casiato? Cas Canistillo. Canis Canistillo, New York. And uh, it's part of the journey. Well, there you have it guys. We set up two stacked nature's hangout hammocks and beautiful seaward, I don't know what, I don't know what the name of this place is. It's kind of cool. Dude, it's freaking gorgeous here. So I sort of changed my position with my hammock. I am now sitting in it, basically Okay, listen, look how comfortable this is, all right? It may not look comfortable, but I have a strap up there, and then on the same branch, a little bit farther, I have another strap. So basically, it's like a chair, but it's bouncy and, you know, it's comfortable. All right, what's up, guys? So... We are cooking on the side of the road. It's uh, what is it like nine o'clock now? So we did our little scouting and everything. It was unsuccessful when it comes to you know actually finding turkey. But Jared's in the back cooking up some food. Let's see, let's see if we can see what it looks like. You can't really see it. Okay, all right, it's still really cool. It's kind of food, and uh, slipped and cut my finger. <laughs> Check this out. Jared's in the back, cooking up some food. What's up, y'all? Just putting some pepper on the, uh, the veggies. So it's day three. We're, we didn't go out hunting this morning. Um, I didn't feel too good at like, what was it, 4.30? I didn't feel too good. 4.30. So we didn't really go out. Um, we're at some lake. Almond, Almond Lake. Almond Lake. See, goes to show how much I know. <laughs> Jared's driving around like a beast. Um, besides that, we're at a lake. We're gonna try some fishing, get some cool drone shots, cook up some breakfast, and uh, figure out what's going on with the rest of the day. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go cook. <laughs> 